Hello, Mrs. Miller's first grade class. My name is Karen Grison. I am Officer Karen Grison with the Exeter Township Police Department. I'm here today to read you a book. And the book title is Mr. Duck Means Business, written by Tammy Sauer. As Daniel would say, let's get right to it. Mr. Duck lived by himself on the pond. Each day he followed a tight schedule. There's a lot of signs to keep off this property. From six in the morning until seven, he would stretch his wings. From seven to eight, he would fluff his feathers. At precisely 8.01, he would glide across the perfectly still water. Ah, said Mr. Duck, it's so peaceful, so quiet, I have everything I need. Day after day, week after week, and year after year, everything was the same, and Mr. Duck was very happy. Then, one especially hot summer day, Mr. Duck had just begun his morning gliding when he saw, look who's coming, pig, jumping in the water. Look out below, oink, oink, splash. Mr. Duck sputtered. He muttered, he tail a fluttered. But Pig did not get the message. Look how mad he is. Mr. Duck was all set to give Pig a strongly worded speech regarding private property. When, well, there you are, said Cal. Let's see your moves, called Pig. Jump in. You don't mind, do you, Mr. Duck, said Cal as she plowed past. Moo, moo, splash. Here goes the cow in the water. Mr. Duck grumbled. He mumbled. He flip-flop fumbled. But pig and cow did not get the message. Look how mad he is. And here comes all his friends. Mr. Duck was all set to tell them what, when. Hey, said the goat. We've been looking all over for you. Anyone up for a game of Marco Polo, called Pig? Last one in is a rotten egg, cheeped the chick. Come on, Mr. Duck, said Cal, you're it. The water got wild, the scenery got crowded, and the peace and quiet, it was gone. Look how mad he is. Mr. Duck tapped, he flapped, he totally snapped. Quack! And somebody got the message. Perhaps we overstayed our welcome, said Chick. Oh, said the other animals. Out, out of my pond, cried Mr. Duck. This time I mean business. So sorry, my apologies. Goodbye for good, said Mr. Duck. Sorry to have bothered you, said Chick. Thanks for letting us swim in your pond. They're all so sad, they had fun, and they're all apologizing, but he's angry, he wants them to go. Alone at last, Mr. Duck returned to his routine. He stretched his wings. There was no splashy belly flopping. He fluffed his feathers. There was no annoying water ballet. He glided across the perfectly still water. There was certainly no rowdy round of Marco Polo. Ah, said Mr. Duck, it's so peaceful. So quiet, and that's just the way I like it. On Monday, quiet. On Tuesday, very quiet. On Wednesday, peaceful. On Thursday, very peaceful. On Friday, yawn. On Saturday, Mr. Duck twiddled his feathers peacefully and quietly, of course. And on Sunday, Mr. Duck had a plan. He's painting a sign. These days, Mr. Duck still loves to stretch at six. He still loves to fluff his feathers at seven. He still loves to glide across the perfectly still water at precisely 8.01. But sometimes life calls for a little noise. Sign says noise welcome from 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Especially with friends. 
It's always nice to respect your friends if they want peace and quiet and your teacher. If they want peace and quiet, let them alone. But later on, they're going to want to have fun and play together. Enjoy your friends and take some time to enjoy the peace and quiet. Have a good day. I had fun reading to you. Bye-bye.